Okay, so today we're going to talk about the three-way switch, the assignment that we're going to do. Things are already uh, things are already set up, uh, but uh, the the assignment box. I wonder if the assignment box is already. Uh, evaluations, submissions, assignment. It is already there. Okay. But view as a student, evaluations, submissions. Oh, it's not yet. It's going to open at two o'clock. So that's going to light up blue or some other color that is going to be clickable at two o'clock PM today, November 25th. And that's when, um, that's what it looks like is, I'm going to open that. You know what, might as well open this thing. Uh, evaluations, submissions. Um, edit submission. Okay. There's a due date. Uh, availability here, twenty fifth, and I'm going to make it already active. Save and close. So, I'm gonna make myself look like a student. Submissions, after the evaluations, there you go. It's already active. And when you click on it right away, at least you should see the long rubric, okay? This is for you to view what you're going to be evaluated on. And then you're just going to submit the file, right? Right here, not a big issue. I, I think you should, you, you have done it uh, before. Uh, submissions to the uh, to the folders all right so let's talk about the assignment so it's called a three-way switch and if you remember this uh, this first scenario here that you're going to be asked to present is the three-way switch with the light fixture or with the load at the end at the end of the run. So what does it mean that it's at the end of the run? That means that the power supply is, the power is supplied from this far, the furthest end, goes through the first switch, goes through the second switch, and then there is a light fixture at the end of the run, okay? So what happened is that uh, in the past, sometimes somebody would get an idea that if it is supposed to be at the beginning of the run, because this is one of the scenarios, they would just flip the whole image with the power supply being on the right and everything. No, that is still going to be on uh, at the end of the run. Because if, uh, if it's supposed to be at the beginning of the run, just take the light fixture and put it here instead of the switch. And the switch is going to be here and the power is going to be supplied to the light fixture. So please remember that, okay? All right, right off the bat, um, uh, just, uh, yes, we are recording. Okay, I just wanna make sure. Um, the deadline, the, the, the assignment is due this year, December 2nd, um, well, midnight, so like one minute before midnight. So what we have, um, what we have is we have a whole week to do that. Today is 25th and you have the whole week. So you have the weekend. It should take you about an hour to complete this properly. All right. All right. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, what, what else happening here. So 
right off the bat here, well, the second bat, because the first bat was already there. Uh, let's talk about some rules. Right? The neutral, here's the white neutral. The neutral conductor must be present in every device box. In this case, no problem, because the neutral goes through all the boxes and it ends up at the load. So do we have a neutral present in this box? Yes. Do we have it? Yes. OK, do we have? Yes. All right. Now, that's, uh, there will be scenarios when you're going to have the light fixture in the middle of the run, or you're going to have the light fixture at the beginning of the run, uh, that the uh, not all the boxes will have the neutral provided uh, naturally, which means you have to extend that white neutral and provide it there. And if it is at the last box, just draw a line like this, and if it doesn't continue, then just, just draw it like this, that is going into the box and put like a not connected, not connected um, uh, little indicator here. Right? So what does it say here? If a conductor enters the box and the conductor is not connected to any devices and the conductor is not passing through the box, draw the, connect, draw the conductor, 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 uh, as shown on figure two, here's figure two, with the NC uh, marking indicating that there's no connection. Right. And one more thing, don't draw a dot at the end of this, because this would suggest that this conductor or the cable or well, conductor is connected to the box, just like the ground is here connected to the box. Okay. Right, so that's the one uh, one scenario that not a scenario. That's one um, possibility that you're going to have to encounter while drawing this. Right. All right. Same thing. Neutral conductor. If the conductor enters the box and the conductor is not connected to any devices and the conductor is passing through the box, just draw the conductor as shown in Figure Three. So here, just make it pass through. That's it. Just like here. All right. Now, when it comes to indicating connections and crossovers, <clears throat> or cross crossings, not crossovers, crossings, indicate. Let's let's just establish some conventions that uh, that we're going to do here, and you're always going to have some sort of um, agreements on how you're going to present your work. Um, Yes, we'll go, it, it, most of the most of the time you're going to have to uh, um, do it as everybody else does, but there will be sl slightly few differences, uh, as you will notice as you go along. So let's establish that in our company, when we do things, we're going to do it this way: that we're going to indicate the connections with dots. So make sure that there's a visible dot. Don't make it so it can jump out of to screen and kill me, all right? But uh, visible and uh, make no mistake, kind of a dot, right? So that means these two wires, this one here is connected. For the conductors crossing, but not connecting, use the jump over loops. So here is the jump over. The connector is not, this conductor is not connected to this conductor. It just goes, make a jump over. Make things nice, clear, and understandable, so nobody has to call you. So, if it, in if in our company that we work, uh, there would be a um, conductor going like that, and there was no dot, and somebody would give that drawing to me, and knowing that we have agreed that we put dots at all the connections, I would be making a phone call to make sure that this is connected. Or did you forget to put the, yeah, I forgot, also, okay, you know, so that would be, so make sure that nobody has any questions to you. Of course, all, always there are going to be some questions and there's nothing wrong with confirming things, but uh, minimize that, right? But if you don't put the dots as you connect the wires in our assignment, here, you're going to, I'm not going to make a phone call. <laughs> I'm going to uh, deduct, uh, you're going to get marks deducted. Okay. All right. 
And this is some of the rules that I'm explaining. Uh, the reason is that um, they work from the past. Okay. Every year, I'm getting new ideas of what to explain because of the common mistakes people make. All right, what did I say here? Draw the conductors as straight lines. Okay. Use rulers. No hand, no hand-driven, not hand-drawn straight lines. The whole thing is has the whole thing. I'm asking you to do by hand, but the straight lines use rulers. Still do it by hand, right? But just do and do it by hand without the rulers. And draw the lines, the connect, uh, the conductors, because well, here is a pole for the switch. So it has to be the way it is because that's the symbol of the switch. But the conductors draw it either horizontally or vertically. Don't do things like that. And I'll have some examples of what people did in the past. Right? This is not acceptable. If the line has to continue that way and has to go somewhere else, just go like this. All right, All right next slide. In this exercise, the power is always to be supplied to the first device on the left side of the page. In this example, it happens to be switch one. Okay. Where is the, uh, let me get some, yeah. It happens to be switch one. Okay, again. In this exercise, the power is always to be supplied to the first device on the left side of the page. In this example, it happens to be switch one. And there's a reason why I'm saying this thing twice. Okay. Next. Here is how we're going to do the assignment. We're going to present three scenarios as seen on the example of figure six. That is going to be our assignment. One page, I'm asking you to produce one page. Scenario number one, with the light fixture at the end of the run. Scenario number two, which I blurred out, but you can get how to do it uh, from the previous lectures that we did. It's just when I was doing the drawing, I was hand drawing this uh, with the mouse. So the lines were not as straight as I want them to be. You are going to present that thing with the rulers. And the reason why I'm asking you to do this by hand is that at least for the first time, I want you to get that extra involvement in it. Uh, and trust me, that helps the knowledge retention. Later on, once you get comfortable with the idea and all that, yes, you're going to get uh, you're going to have AutoCAD, SolidWorks, whatnot uh, to do the graphics. Of course, you're not going to do things by hand, but for the assignment, for the learning purposes, for the knowledge retention purposes, so it stays in your head. I want you to do it by hand. Yep. So here's the second scenario, which I blurred out, which would be the light fixture in the middle of the run. So there will be a switch one, light fixture, switch two. And here's the third scenario with the light fixture at the beginning of the run with the power supplied to it. Not, don't just flip things around. So the light fixture is on the left and the power supply is, is supplied to the right. People have done it and they get zero, right? <laughs> because the whole idea is to connect things properly, not just to look at it upside down. Right? So that'll be the third scenario. Excuse me. <coughs> All right. Where were we? We were here. So here's the assignment as seen in figure six. Three scenarios light fixture at the end of the run, which was the first one that we did. You can copy that. Well, don't copy and paste. You can copy the way it is drawn. So here's the first kind of a practice run on it. And then light fixture in the middle of the run. So you're going to take that and put it here. And the switch is going to be here. 
and the right fixture at the start of the run or the beginning of the run. So there's that thing here is going to be instead of switch one, and you're going to move switch two and switch one to the right, and the power will be supplied always from the left. Uh, when you draw the lines, the conductors draw them through the boxes because, uh, as you could tell, uh, that uh, we are doing this three way switch, which is basically this scenario. That's our lab as well. We're connecting this thing for real. Uh, all the wires pass through either the conduits or they pass through the boxes. You don't run the wire outside the conduit. So just do it that way. In this case, you can tell. Uh, how many conduits you're going to have and how many wires and what kind of wires will be in those pipes. Okay. All right, where are we here? All right, figure one represents the first scenario. You might see, I said, draw a copy. Don't copy and paste, right? Uh, how how would you do it anyways if you do it by hand right so i just said you might draw a copy of this arrangement and use it as the first of the three drawings so here's first one is free the other two scenarios must be presented in the same way with components rearranged accordingly which i just explained in the previous slide now each scenario must include the label, um, see figure one, top left corner. Do they have that here? There we go, here's the label. And the label says three-way switch system. And it says light fixture at the end of the run. So each scenario will have that. If you don't have that label, you have to have marks deducted. All three components, switch one, switch two, and the light fixture clearly drawn. And I'll show you some of the work from the past and you will understand why. There's a reason why I actually have to put that here. All three components must be labeled, see figure one. The components are labeled. Here's the label for the, for the component switch one, switch two, and the light fixture. And make it in a clear way, please. Uh, well, you will know what I mean. When I show you, see, show you the, some of the work. All the components must be delivered. All work must be done by hand. <clears throat> and as neat and clear as the one on figure one. Switches, terminals must be labeled. In this way here, C, T, T, that's common, travel, travel, traveler. Common, traveler, traveler, and light bulb, you don't have to label because there's nothing, uh, there's no commons of travelers, right? So those must be labeled. Uh, all devices must be indicated with dotted lines. So the boxes indicate the boxes with the dotted line. There's a box, device box, there's a device box, there's a device box. Um, conduit, the conduit markers, okay, wait, so the, run, the runs between boxes must be embraced with the conduit markers, the elliptical shapes, figure one. So here's a conduit, make sure that indicate that there's a conduit going on and make an indicator just like that here, showing that uh, we're using a half inch EMT conduit. So here's a conduit between these two boxes. Here's a conduit between these two boxes. Everything is clear. Nobody's asking any questions. And over here, uh, all the conductors labeled. So here's white. You can put black here, or you can put red here. You can put any other color except for white and uh, green or back copper. Usually it would be red or black or blue. <clears throat> so you can also say that it's hot here. 
which will be other than white and you can choose that on the uh, as you do your installation and you can uh, make the notes on the drawings as you go along so you can do it as this you can put hot here except remember what we call this hot is a switched hot it is yes it is a common practice that people put make sure that they put red there indicating that this is a switched hot it's not a must but it's a good practice but if you put black that's fine too so here you can just put two blacks you can put yellow and not yellow you can put uh red and blue you can put two blues you can put two reds you can put two blacks so that's why i just said hot and hot uh, so here's the content markers. The ground symbols must be presented just like in figure one. What do we have in figure one? We have indication that there's a ground in the system that's provided here. And we have also indication that the ground or bond is uh, provided to the first box. And do it like this. See that? Um, there's a dot there. That means that that bond, the ground is connected to the dot, to the to the dot. It's connected to the box. All conductors must be identified as in Figure One, which I just identified it hot. We talked about that just a couple of seconds ago. All right. Now let's keep going here. The top page place the following as on Figure Six. What are we? Page ten here. All right. Here's the title of the whole thing. All right, safety 1051. Okay, that is going to be 22F, right? Assignment, three-way switch system. That's the title for the main page and put your name here. We were at page 10. All right, here is the, here's what we're going to put at the top of the page, safety 1051. Uh, 22F, that's our uh, course uh, and assignment, three-way switch system, and put your name. Don't write your name, just put your name. <laughs> then after the whole thing is done, you can scan it or you can take a photo. Make sure it's nice and clear photo. If you have any, excuse me, <coughs> if you present any smidged or blurred out work or bad quality that um, that is going to be difficult to see things on it, yes, you're going to have uh, marks deducted as well. Um, so then you're going to save it in PDF format and I'm asking you to save that in PDF. Don't give me any other JPEGs or GIFs or there is another format uh, for Apple that is just proprietary to Apple. The FOL system won't be able to read that for sure. And you're going to get zero because you were told to put it in PDF format. If there is in any other format, like for example, the Microsoft Word uh, format, uh, there's a chance that FOL is going to read that and I be able to see it, but uh, I might see it distorted or out of order or some kind of in some kind of a funny way. So please save that in PDF format. Acrobat in order for me to be able to see it clearly so I can mark that. It is your responsibility to provide that in the format that is requested and the reason was explained. So FOL, when I mark it using the FOL, I can clearly see that. If you're doing it in any other format, you're risking a chance that, uh, that I won't be able to mark it and you will get zero. Yeah. All right, I'm so mean. All right, upload the PDF file onto F uh, assignment submission folder, which I just showed you, but just in case, um, yeah. I view myself as a student. It is in the evaluations. Click on that. Click on the submissions. Click on that. And here's the assignment. Click on the assignment. Right away, you're going to see the rubric. That's for your viewing. 
And over here, you're going to say add a file. So click on that and you're going to submit that file. Here's a little description. I feel a sneeze coming up. All right. All right. Uh, all boxes are. Where are we? Okay, here. Now, all boxes must contain the neutral. Uh, so upper, now, all boxes must contain the neutral continuous connection, white wire. And this is the second time I'm mentioning that. Even if the neutral does not connect, is not connected to any of the devices. See the examples of figure two and three. Here's a neutral passing through the box. Here's the neutral going there into the box because it has to be there, even though it is not connected. It's the rule that we have to have. So it's the second time or third time or fifth time I'm mentioning it <clears throat> because it's important. Right? The reasons are many. Right. Uh, sometimes, um, well, you might think that uh, it makes sense. You need to have neutral because who knows? Maybe ten years from now, you're going to have you want to mount some other device like a dimmer or something like that, and it requires a neutral connection um, to the to the to the back to the electrical panel. And if you don't have it, then you won't be able to mount it. Um, so even though it's not being used. And this is just one of the reasons. The neutral has to be provided. All right, here's the example, as we already uh, shown before. Safety 1051, you can have 22F. Uh, assignment three-way syst switch system. Here is going to be, and here's, you'll see there's a label. Uh, you're going to make a better, you're going to do a little better job on the, on the conduit indicators here, right? Because this is just a, thing is being down here also neat i didn't deduct any marks for that because things are neat but do it the way i do it do it the way i showed you which is just like that here indicator and um and just put half inch emt on it because that's what we're going to use that's what we're using in the lab all right here is the second scenario that's that i blurred out third scenario that i blurred out all right now let's see some work from the past what I'm going to ask you to not do. All right, here's a work from the past. And over here, I said, I marked it and I said, please avoid running connections through the components, All right? Just don't do, here's this traveler, traveler, come on. And somebody did just draw the line right straight through and made a connection. Don't do that, avoid that, all right? Uh, what would I suggest if, if in that case, just take it out of there, go around that in the straight lines in the vertical and horizontal and then continue with the line. So that's uh, that's what I would do. Now over here, uh, where do I begin with this one? All right, um, this, first of all, this is unpresentable. Uh, you will get zero on this. I decided to do some sort of uh, notes on that anyways. So condo in, uh, is there a condo inside the box? Here's the, the, here's the device box and somebody do the ellipt elliptical marker and put half inch EMT. And so, yeah, and it's all in this, inside the device box, come on, right? Uh, so I just wrote that here. Crossings, uh, where is the crossing? There you go, see? Is this connected or not? We decided that we are going to either jump over or make a dot. There is neither here. So of course, uh, it'll be confusing when it comes to, um, the convention that we use in, let's say, our company, all right? And this is just overall, <clears throat> overall a mess, okay? Uh, unacceptable. Um, would you pay for that if somebody that did this for you? Oh, so see that here? Uh, here is a line going from the traveler, going outside the box, coming back into the box, and it's just going... <laughs> diagonally just why would you do that i'm asking you to go straight but then again you don't come out of the box and go back into the box just make a decision which way you want to go right um so uh yeah and don't do this yes you're going to see it in some drawings uh where we're, we're setting up the convention that we're not going to do that right so these are just some examples 
and don't do the don't present your work in uh, like this right yes the somebody might argue yes but my lines are straight because i did uh, uh i did use a ruler well with some of them because this one here what about this one right plus it's just a general overall mess um <clears throat> don't present your work this way which way do we want your work to be presented present your work this way just do it by hand it's going to take you a couple minutes more but you are going to dwell on that it's going to sink in to your wonderful brains as you do it by hand later on for your job when you do all kinds of drawings yes you're going to use computer <clears throat> the evaluation rubric we can just go over quickly what you're going to be evaluated on all right the whole thing the whole thing is out of 220 just like 220 right voltage 220 <laughs> all right uh, so functionality all three diagrams function correctly now if three out of three function correctly you automatically get 101 points and i did it just so it's more than 100 right um then two out of three function correctly i'm not talking about the rules or code just functionality the other stuff is down the down the rubric <clears throat> then you get 51 points and then if only one of three because the first one you get free so you don't have to work for it so if just the one that you copied functions correctly of course it will be well <laughs> then you can get zero just for that so if just two out of three function correctly you get no one one points if that makes sense i think i just made a sentence in english all right deadline 21 points which is more than 10 percent uh about no almost 10 percent of the whole thing late submission and of course keep in mind this is towards the end of the term so there is 106 of you right now no 105 of you right now i have to mark 105 of these um you gotta give me a chance to mark it if you submit that before i just before i have to um just before I have to uh, submit the uh, final marks, uh, I might not have a chance to mark it. So let's say this, the deadline is what it is. Uh, it's marked, uh, it's um, 20, it's going to be second, December 2nd, one minute before midnight. If you submit that, after that you're you're putting yourself at risk of getting a zero on that simply because it might be just too close for me to having to put the final marks and i just won't have time to mark it most probably you're going to get 21 points deducted but just keep in mind that you may get zero if the date is just too close so you have a week to do it just do it it's going to take you less than an hour maybe some of them some of us uh, well, maybe half an hour right once you get all the tools <clears throat> all right neutral wire has to be there if you don't have it in every box bang 10 points deducted all right or if it's not presented the way it, it, it was explained remember those drawings i told you the going to the box not connected dots blah 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 or not dots all right so 10 points if it's done and it has to be done properly and it's in every box if, if any of the box any of the scenarios is not correct you lose 10 points right visual hygiene that's what i call it the assignment must be clean of stains and or eraser or other sm smidge marks 
bent or torn corners and free of signs of physical damage. There's also a reason why I put this thing here, because quite often in the past, I would get drawings, just as you saw, um, uh, and some others even worse. Uh, it just looked like somebody fed it to a dog and the dog chew it and spat it out and then straighten it out, take a picture. There you go. Uh, all right, can I get it marked now? All right, so it must be hand-drawn. Assignment must be hand-drawn, no computer graphics. You get five points deducted right away if you don't have, if you don't do it by hand. Um, and it's going to make me not very happy. So there's some other things that uh, we might have to talk about, All right? But officially, uh, five points. Uh, page header, present or not? Kaboom, three points. You see those little five, three, three, three. You know, if you do, usually if you do one, you're going to do a little bit more, and they they do add up, right? So make sure everything is there. Ruler straight conductors, all connecting lines must be ruler straight, not hand straight. Lines must be clearly visible. So three out of three, two out of three, one out of three, zero out of three, ba boom. Right? Uh, diagram labels. So these are the diagram labels. Uh, this is what here. Each scenario diagram, we're going to have a label what it is. Light fixture at the end of the run. That's the one here because the light fixture is on the end of the run. So that's what I mean, all right? Uh, so I don't know why I keep putting it on and uh, FOL is not uh, taking it. Uh, so it just, uh, this is three out of three, two out of three, one out of three, okay? And zero out of three. Same thing here. Uh, <clears throat> all device boxes labeled switch one, switch two and light fixture. Switch one. Switch to light fixture. So again, here is five points. Is all of them two out of three, one out of three, zero out of three. Yeah? Well, conduits. All conduits between device boxes must be indicated exactly as on Figure One. All conductor must be a conductor must be embraced by the elliptical marker indicating the conduits. Da 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 da. That's what we mean here. All right. And you can see that all these wires run through this conduit and it is, what kind of conduit? It's half inch EMT. Any questions? You would not be making a phone call. You would know exactly what to install. All right here, this one took it. Three out of three, two out of three, all right. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Conductors labels. All conductor must be, conductors must be identified with their black, white, or hot identifier. White is neutral, black is hot uh hot to come on switch terminal all right uh hot switched uh hot switchable traveler terminals all identifications must be present and correct three two one zero crossings just as we explained you're going to be evaluated on crossings a little bit more marks important all right and ground a bond, nine points, four or one. Uh, bottom left in each corner and at the first box as indicated. All three are have diagrams have it, da, 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 da. Here is just a little tiny bit of a uh, breakdown on the marks. A plus is 90% minimum and A is 80%. That's basically all across the board, how we are making, uh, how we're marking things, all right? So 50%. So this is according to this, how many points you're going to get. So things, I'm trying to make things as clear as possible here. <clears throat> right? Final thought. Sometimes people get creative and they dress up their work and they invent uh, things, how they're going to present. All right. So I, there's a reason I put this one here. Don't be creative. Do not dress up your work. In general, creativity is a positive trait because we're humans, we live by creation, but this is not the case here. Just do it. So it's the communications between one person and another person when it comes to the installation and reading the drawings this is not an art class, right? And one last thought, as I always say, when done, just look at it and ask yourself, 
would I pay for this if somebody offered me, if I hired somebody to do that, do this, and they came up with this, would I pay for it? Honestly, would I pay money for it? And just be honest with yourself because somebody else is going to be honest with yourself. And that's the end of this slideshow. Are there any questions? I suppose not. Um, so you may start sections or whoever uh, attended here, anybody can start uh, doing this and submit it so I can uh, mark it. So this, uh, this it is active right now. When you draw it, submit it the way that we talked about, we spent pretty much a whole hour on talking about this. Uh, so go ahead and uh, I want to see your wonderful creations. Quote unquote creations. Don't get creative, right? Remember? Yeah. All right. Cool. All right, guys, it's Friday again. So uh, we're almost there. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel already, and it's coming close. So don't miss the deadlines and don't do anything you wouldn't write home about. <laughs> wisdom for this weekend back wisdom all right cool guys thank you very much and i'll see you when i see you